So one of my favorite presses is Copper Age Comics. I just wanted to show you one Copper Age comic that we all know and love. It's the Infinity Gauntlet number one right there. Beautiful comic. I've been working on this one. This is my uh, this is my kid's comic, and this one was in terrible, terrible condition. I really wish I showed the before. But I've been working on this comic here, and just finishing this one up. I had this in the uh, the light tank for two hours, and been playing around inside that light tank, and it did a wonderful job here. It removed some stains that I had right here. These were moisture stains over time. It wasn't necessarily from water damage or anything it was just probably uh just the way it was sitting inside the bag and you can see some foxing down there not too concerned about any of that um for what this comic was before this thing is in great shape you can see it's been through a few presses and uh a few cleans so we're just going to do one more press here and i just wanted to show you uh show you how i do it So this is the Infinity Gauntlet. The front cover has already been pressed. Now it's just the back cover. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna brace the book. So we gotta find the center of the book, okay? With the, this is a comic board, Silver Age, by the way. You wanna make sure the comic board is nice and tight on, on fr in front of those staples, not on top or anything like that. And then you kind of just squeeze those staples outwards a bit. So I got some 65 pound cardstock here and I'm just gonna put one on the in the back cover in between the pages, just like that. And we got lots more videos showing how this is done. So if you wanna go through some of my videos explaining on how to stack, more than welcome. And uh, and by the way, cardstock has two different sides. It has it's been pressed and cut, obviously, so it has sort of a rough side. You want to go on the uh, the fine side, downwards in the uh, back of the cover. Okay, and that way there's no roughness against when you're pressing. And this one as well. So actually, we want to flip this around. We want to make sure that. It's like that. And then I just want to finish it off by taking some, some pages. And in between the pages, I want to put a piece of copy paper. Okay, and that's just acts as a, as a buffer. So when we press, there's something to press against in those pages. And mind you, this has been in the in the uh, moisture tank for two hours, so it's had all the moisture it needs for the press. You don't want to put them in dry. Some some you do, some presses you do. You definitely want to put in dry. Uh, this one, however, not necessary. It was already dry enough. And okay, now we're just gonna build the stack. Two pieces of uh, cardstock at the bottom. And a piece of car uh, piece of copy paper as a buffer again. So two pieces of cardstock and a piece of copy paper as a buffer. We're gonna place the comic on top like that. And then we're gonna add another piece of copy paper. Now I used to use inkjet copy paper because it was a little stiffer. But this is just your cheap copy paper, okay? So it's a little more difficult to use because it's a lot thinner. I would rather use inkjet. All right, and then we're just gonna add two more pieces of 65 pound cardstock to finish off the stack. So then it looks like that, okay?
All right, so I got the uh, stack on top of the press like that, and it's at 160 degrees Fahrenheit, ready to go. I'm just going to bring it down just like this, nicely like that. I'm gonna take the dial and uh, loosen it off like this. I'm gonna completely close the clamp, and then I'm gonna use the dial to bring it down flat, but I'm not gonna add a whole lot of pressure, okay? Just enough pressure. Give it a nice squeeze, and then I'm going to let the heat do the work. And I'm going to let it do the work for 15 minutes. Okay, so it's 160 degrees for 15 minutes for Copper Age comic books. All right, so this is a uh, room temperature. Okay, I'm just going to carefully open it up here. Okay, so we just finished this press off and we're just gonna open this up. Beautiful, exactly what we want. Now this has to just go immediately into cold press because okay, we don't want no reversion or anything like that happening. So we'll just immediately put that in there and then we'll, it's finished. All right, so the Infinity Gauntlet has been sitting in the cold press for more than a day. Just a full day, just left it in there around 24 hours. Should be completed. I don't want to do any more work on it. It's way too delicate at this point now. After you do so many cleans and presses on it, the weaker the paper gets. So just keep that in mind. So this is the last one. The spine uh, has a tendency to come apart too when you overpress it as well. So you don't want to uh, you don't want to keep continuing to press and clean um, more than you have to. Anyways, uh, let's check it out. All right, so let's open up. So this is my cold press, just a bunch of cardstock, guys. Not nothing special, and uh, but it does work. Works really well, and it also I like this method because it absorbs any any moisture that was left into the comic book, and uh, sometimes the pages like curl at the top here. When you put it in the cardstock overnight, it it absorbs, and I don't get much. I never get curling, so here it is, guys. Beautiful, right? So we're gonna give this to my kid right after. I'll bag and board it. The results should be the back side here. Of course it had those uh spine dings and everything on you can see there those never go away but they do press out very nice see okay and you can see that stain there right here went away lightened up anyways a lot better but, uh, there you have it Right, so I'm really happy with this, guys. We're just going to bag and board it. Get this cardstock out of the way here. So this is just... And I'm going to reuse that. But I never, I never reuse copy paper. It just gets recycled. Depending on how bad the cardstock is, I'll reuse it. So if I do like a overlay press with uh, peroxide, the cardstock always gets wet and damaged after, so I can't reuse it. But just normal presses, yeah, we can reuse. There we go. And whenever we bag and board, just make sure the pages, the pages inside, tend to tend to get loose. So make sure that you square those out.
there you have it. What I like to do is square the book to the to the, not to the bottom, but just keep it off the bottom like that. Okay, and keep the book centered to the backer board. And a nice piece of tape like that. There you have it. And of course my hands were all nice and clean and everything like that before I touched the comic book so I don't leave fingerprints or anything on it. Um, if they are sweaty or anything, just recommend just use gloves before you put it into the bag. But uh, there you go. Just like that. Now we'll give it to uh, we'll give it to my son. Hey Bentley. Bentley, come here. Got something for you. <laughs> What's up, my dude? <laughs> Wrong. It's yeah. like I see, like, there, I remember a stain. Mm -hmm. You remember? And that's gone. You remember the stain and everything? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. gone now, eh? Yeah, so we've been working on this one for a little while and it's been put away, um, forgotten about, but I finally got back mm -hmm. to it and uh, finished it up. Happy? Yes. There you go. Have a good day, guys. Please do like and subscribe.